Hi, I'm Steph, and I am staying in a travel trailer in the middle of Connecticut. <laughs> and now why am I in Connecticut? Kind of a weird uh, spot, but I have a friend that lives here, and I wanted to come visit them. We've been friends since high school, and um, I've never been to Connecticut, so I thought, what a great opportunity. I also brought a friend with me, so the three of us have been just having some awesome adventures here in Connecticut, and we're going to continue doing some kayaking, hiking, exploring, because... You got to when you're in a place like this. And I will say this is end of August, early September, and the weather is beautiful. It is hot in Florida, so I wanted to go somewhere that was not as hot, and Connecticut has been blowing my mind. It's been awesome. And I'm very excited because I've been wanting to stay in a travel trailer. I have actually never stayed in one myself like this, and so my friend had this one, and it has all the hookups already to their house. So I'm excited to stay in it and experience it and kind of share my journey staying in a trailer for the first time. So let's go inside. I want to give you a tour. All right, so this is a tour of my travel trailer. This is the wonderful kitchen area. And this is the sink where I do all of the sink things. There is a microwave and a fridge. And in my fridge, my friend has talked what I need for breakfast, which is eggs and carrots. And I've been microwaving my eggs every morning. And then this is the inside. And it's so cool. This is the little kitchen area. And this table moves out really nicely so you can easily get in here. I don't know, this might be a bed too, but I don't need to sleep on that. There is a ton of lights everywhere and it's super easy to just turn them on and off. And there is right by the door, there is lots of cabinets and my friend stocked all the stuff that I need. The bed is back here. It's super comfortable. They did a great job at making this nice and comfortable. More storage, which is awesome. I've been putting my clothes in here, all of that stuff. And this is really nice. This is a cool feature. This is actually um, speaker. There's speakers in here and it can play the radio. It can connect to your phone. So that's really cool. There's also a TV here. Um, I'm not, I don't have anything going on it, but there's a TV here. Some great windows, beautiful view. And then the bathroom is always the big question. What is the bathroom going to be like? So this is the bathroom. I actually took a shower in here last night, so it's still a little bit wet, but it actually it's not that bad. Um, and then this can move over and then you can put stuff in here and this is the toilet. This took a little bit of learning how to use. So basically I learned how to use it. You, you pull this lever just a little bit to let water in. Let me show. So it lets water in and then you pull it fully to flush. So I'm not going to lie, that took me a while to figure out on the first day. Um, and you can also put toilet paper down it. I wasn't sure about that, so I was all the learning about the toilet. But what's cool is they have hookups for the sewer and electricity and water all built into their house. So it's just all, it it's all works. It's great. Uh, but the shower actually was not bad. You do have to turn on this fan when you run the shower. So I did that. Yeah, it's small, but mighty. And then the door, oh, and the light is here for the bathroom. And then my friend wrote great instructions for everything. And this is the AC, which is right here, which I actually just ran just to try a second ago, but haven't needed it because it's really not bad here. And then I turn these two on to get hot water when I'm taking a shower and that worked well. This is my trash bag. So this is my trailer. This is what I'm staying in for the next couple days while I'm visiting my friend here in Connecticut. And uh, it's been great. I've been wanting to stay in a trailer for a really long time, actually. I watch like people travel in trailers on YouTube and I don't really want to have one because it's like a lot of upkeep, but I've been wanting to like stay in one to kind of experience it because it's interesting to like experience doing life differently, but still, you can still have all the amenities in a trailer. So it's really nice. It's been fun to kind of explore and like how to make breakfast and how to use the tiny bathroom. And I've slept super well. Um, and then I learned how to open the windows so I can get a nice breeze from outside. So it's been great uh, so far. And this is, uh, this is kind of a look at my daily routine.
I didn't do it the normal way. I took a crossover kayak, the Liquid Logic Remix XP10, and a crossover kayak is a whitewater kayak. So uh, it is raining um, on one of the days, so I'm just enjoying some quiet time in the trailer and enjoying a cup of tea and um, and a little snack. This is my go-to snacks. So Mayor's in the big house and in, in the main house, and my friend Amber's here hanging out with me, and we're just enjoying the rain as it comes down and enjoying the trailer. And so far pretty awesome can't have the window open because the rain's coming in but it's uh it's a cool it's a cool place i finally figured out the shower because it's so small and kind of a cramped space i learned you have to wash in sections so i started by washing my legs with the wand and then you know middle section then head and then i also learned when i'm like using the wand to like spray me um like the middle section i have to like turn towards the toilet and spray it towards me. Because if I like try to spray it this way, my arm's in the way of the wall. Yeah, so I kind of like figured it out the more I used it and it seems pretty, pretty efficient. I realize it's really nice to open the windows so I can see outside and just bring in the natural light. And then I did open the window to get in the, you know, the smells from outside. And today I opened the one above the bed. So it's fun to kind of figure out which windows work best. But I don't want to leave them open during the day because I didn't know if it would make it hotter, but it's really nice in the morning to be able to look out. So I am packing up all my stuff here in the trailer. It has been, I've been here for three full days and I have loved the trailer. I've gotten to really know like the ins and outs of using stuff and everything is just set up really well and easy to use. The uh, fridge did one day, it started beeping like a single beep and I didn't, and it was at night of course. And so I didn't want to disrupt my friend that um, owns this. So I googled it. I said Dometic RV fridge and it said one beep was that the fridge was a jar or there was a wire that wasn't connected. So the fridge was closed but I like opened and closed it a couple times and then I like adjusted the wires. I mean I didn't really do much but um, it stopped finally stopped beeping so that was good. Um, I love all the lights because I love light and so you easily just can like turn them on um, just by yourself really easily. And I never needed the stove because I microwaved my eggs, but um, that is propane and I assume it works well, but I didn't try it. I like all of the drawers. I think there's like so many like places to put stuff and store things. So I think that's really great. The only thing um, I think I would like change or addition there's a um, like a audio system and the blue light on that stays on all night and it's like right in your eye line. So I put some um, sticky notes over that to cover it, but I would probably, if this was my um, camper, I'd probably come up with something that can easily like go up and down on that to cover it like fully um, during the night. And then I needed a bath mat for the shower. And then a broom would have been nice to like sweep it up each day. There's not a lot of floor, but you like walk on it with your shoes and then <laughs> after you're clean. So uh, that's probably it. And I've just really enjoyed it. I would totally stay here again, stay in another RV for sure. It's just really nice and cozy and you have everything you need like right here and you're not really roughing it in any way. And this is really the way to do it because this is actually hooked up to a house. So very ideal. So I don't have to deal with like the different tanks and all of that. But 
it was fun. I'm going to clean up uh, the RV as much as I can, bring the sheets in, and then I'm going to head home. But I've really enjoyed my trailer adventure, my first trailer adventure. I've never stayed in a trailer like this before, so um, it's been very cool solo trailer trekking. <laughs> uh, so thanks for joining me on my um, little journey here, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>